Hey, 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 good morning, guys. Hector here, changing up the scenery a little bit. Uh, just changing up the scenery just a little bit. I'm here at the house. You can see my little one over here off to the side. Um, but I wanted to kind of take you into a little something I've been doing for many, many years. And I truly believe this is a secret behind my longevity in, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, many, not just BJJ athletes, but just many athletes in general are usually broken uh, towards the end of their career or after several years of, of doing their sport. And I can, I can happily say that after um, over 16, almost 17 years of training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, really tough, hard rolls on the mat. Um, I've had a few injuries here and there, but nothing that has sidelined me long term. And I can honestly say that, you know, <clears throat> in my late 30s, you know, as I'm pushing towards 38 this year, and after almost almost 17 years of BJJ, that I am injury free. I move really well, and I I still move really strong. So I wanted to kind of take you through a little something that I do as a part of my um, one of my flows that I like to go through each morning. I do these sometimes before a training session, um, but I mostly do these in the morning just to kind of get things going. So I'm not a, for myself, me personally, I'm not a big fan of uh, training in the morning um, just because I, I choose to choose to not train and lift that early in the morning. I like to, I do something active, but I like to do something more body weight. I'll integrate the kettlebell very rarely and I'll show you a couple of things that I, that I actually do integrate as a part of the kettlebell today. But I'm just going to take you through a very simple like movement flow, something that I do and sometimes this will be for like one minute and sometimes this will be for five to ten minutes it all just depends on how much time I've created for myself and um, you know what I just kind of I just let my body take it I just let my body go where my body wants to where my body wants to go okay sometimes I this is mindless movement I'm really not thinking too much I'm just kind of moving around so this is just a little flow um, hopefully you get some value out of this and this is something that I do as a part of my morning practice every day so I'm gonna get started and I will knock this out here in a couple of minutes. So I um, highly recommend you give this a try later today. I'm gonna try to position the camera here where you can get a good view of what I'm doing. So clearly what I do here is I, I focus on my breath, okay? So I'll start on, on all fours like this. You can tuck your toes. You can tuck your toes if you like, or you can flatten your feet, whatever's the most comfortable for you. And I get in this position and I just focus on breathing. The great thing about this flow is this is something that you can do at home. Clearly, I'm in my office. This is something that you can do at home. You can do if you're a traveler and you travel a lot. This is something that you can do in the mornings. This is something you can do in your hotel room. Something just very basic. This is just some very general movements that I go through. And um, I just move my head around. So proper head position is crucial for your health, posture, etc. Okay. And I just, I just move, okay? I just move my head around. I look over my shoulder, both sides, okay? And I like to do a lot of rotation. I like to do a lot of rotations here. So I get into this like half kneeling windmill position and I breathe here. Then I'll do some internal and external rotation of my arm here. It's gonna help open the shoulders a little bit. And then I'll do these like little, I'll do these little S movements like this. I'll come behind my head, extend back up, and then I'll tuck my hand behind my back. And I'll do a few of these. And then I like to go into some rotations. We call this thread the needle. You can hear my breath. I'm breathing in and out through my nose. And my mouth is closed. And then I'll close my stance. I'll get back into my windmill position. Now I'm in uh, asymmetrical stance here. Last time my leg was open. Now my leg is closed. And I reach through. So I'm doing rotation out this way, and then I'm doing rotation 
through this way. So it's really gonna help if you sit a lot during the day or if you're a traveler and you travel a lot, this will definitely help to open up the chest because we find ourselves in this rounded posture a lot, this forward head posture, this, is, this can create a lot of health problems. So I'll just repeat on the other side. I'll go through my internal and external rotations of my shoulder joint. Bring my hand up my back, here, behind my head. I'll do, and I'm usually, I just, I do this until I feel like I'm, I do this until I feel like I'm open, okay? I already did the thread the needle this way. I'll close my stance, and here, up. Good pop there. And then I'll do some rocking back and forth like this. This will help mobilize the hips. So I'll turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing here. Sometimes I'll tuck my toes and I'm just rocking back and forth just like this. Head up, eyes straight ahead. You can do it with your feet flat. This will help mobilize your ankles and a plantar flexion. But sometimes we're always in this position. We're always in a pointed toe position. Maybe we wear boots or we wear high heels. So we may always be in this position. So tucking your toes here will give you a contrast stretch. So this is a little movement flow that I go through every day. If you wanted to incorporate the kettlebell, this is how I do it. I keep, uh, have a pair of 24s I keep here at the house. And what I do is I just mainly use the bell as a counterweight. And I try to get in a really good goblet squat position. So I'll position myself here. And I'll just move around in this position. So I like the kettlebell because it'll give you a little counterweight. And I just move here. Use my elbows to push my knees out, and I'm just breathing. Sometimes I go through some head movements. Okay. Then I'll go through some halos. camera for this so you can see what I'm doing overhead. Then I'll go through some halos. I'll do that from tall kneeling. You can do that from half kneeling. So this is challenging my core in different positions, okay? Symmetrical stance challenging my core, asymmetrical split stance on challenging the trunk, okay? So those are a couple of drills that I like to do with the kettlebell. I'm already breaking a sweat <laughs> and I'm just moving around just a little bit. But um, that's essentially what I do, guys, in the mornings. I just, I go through this little flow, and I do it until I feel good. So sometimes I do it for a minute. Sometimes I don't use the kettlebell. Sometimes I do use the kettlebell. But generally, those are some of the movements that I go through. Very basic, breaks the sweat, gets the blood flowing, gets the toxins moving around. And I have no doubt, guys, this, this is has been the secret behind the longevity of me being able to train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for almost 17 years really, really hard. And I can, I can happily say that 
as I'm getting closer to my 40s, you know, it'll be 38 this year, that I'm probably stronger and healthier and move better than I ever did when I was in my 20s. And not a lot of people can say that. And I, I truly uh, give credit to moving, moving well and then moving often and moving strong and moving faster. So it's all about, you know, you got to just focus on moving. So a lot of these are, things are going to help really improve your posture. But if you do like lifting, if you're a competitive athlete, these are definitely going to build the resilience in your body to allow you to continue to do your sport long term and, and for life. So give that a try. This is something that I go through every morning as a part of my Miracle Morning. And uh, let me know how it goes. If you, liked, uh, if you like the videos that I'm doing and if you like this video, I think on the bottom right corner of your, uh, of your screen, of your phone or your, your computer, there's uh, an alert to be turned on if you want to be notified next time I go live. And uh, I'll be going live again tomorrow morning. So that's all I got for you guys today. Have a great day and uh, make it a great Thursday. Bye. Say bye to Anaya. Bye. Bye, guys.